Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to my home. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of my new place. Some of you know that I moved in earlier in the year. I just got settled. But before we start, a big thank you to Amazon for sponsoring and collaborating with me to make this video possible. I don't know about you guys, but I am always ordering stuff on Amazon. And some of the furniture and items you'll see in my house, I ordered from Amazon. So I'll put a link down below to all of those items so you can check them out if you want. Now, without further ado, come on. Morning. The first thing that you'll see in my house is the entryway. I always like to keep a console in the entryway, especially ones with drawers, because you can keep things that you grab right before you run out the door. For example, I like to take my dog Cookie on walks every day, so I keep her little harness and leash and even her doggy seatbelt in this drawer. This thing is so cool, I'm gonna put a link down below, but you just click it into your seatbelt, just like you would a human, and it keeps them safe while you're driving. I also like to keep a bowl as a catch-all just to throw your keys or phone in when you're coming or going so that you don't lose them because I am notorious for losing my keys and my phone. One more thing that I like to have in the entryway is a big mirror so you can check yourself before you run out the door and be like, oh good, I don't have any boogers in my nose. I can head out for the day. <laughs> then over here is the formal dining room where I just had Thanksgiving. Let's go check it out. This is where a lot of eating goes down. I like to host for the holidays. We also use this room for a meeting room and we fit 17 of us in here. So this room is also perfect for my family because I have a very large family. The style of this house is Cape Cod. It has a very clean, fresh look that I fell in love with. Also another style detail throughout the house is the whole house has beautiful hardwood floors and I had to learn that you need area rugs because there's a ton of echo and dirt. The rug that I found in this room is one of my favorite rugs. It is so soft. When I put it in the room, Cookie, my little dog, she went under here and was taking a nap and I couldn't get her to come out so I had to crawl under there to get her and I was like oh this is actually really cozy and I curled up in a ball and I like took a nap with her on this rug. This room also used to be a lot darker when I moved in. I took off the wallpaper, I painted it a brighter color and I picked this orb chandelier. I love it because it's clean, it's bright and even though it's big it's very see-through so it doesn't feel like it's blocking off the room. All right that's it for the dining room. Now let's move on, let's go to the kitchen, one of my favorite rooms, yeah! I feel like this is the heart of my home. It's where I spend the most time. I am always baking and cooking in this kitchen. This kitchen with all the appliances and gadgets is a foodie's dream come true. One of the things that I love about this room is that the kitchen is an open floor concept leading into the living room. It's like one big entertainment space, which is something I love because I love having people over. Just earlier this year, I had 50 people between the kitchen and the living room. They were all over for a TV finale party. Whenever I'm having get-togethers, people tend to hang out in the kitchen. It's where all the yummy food is. One of my favorite pieces of furniture that I found in the entire house are these chairs. When I moved in, I had really old director's chairs. They were falling apart. The screws were coming out. The fabric had been completely stretched and they were really crickety, like and I needed some new chairs. I love that they have a director chair vibe, but they're way more comfortable. So if a guest comes over to bake with me, their friends or family or manager can just sit here and watch as we film. Over here is usually my coffee station. My coffee machine broke, so it is being fixed, but it shall be back soon. Over here is a foodie's fridge dream. This is the largest refrigerator I've ever seen in my life. I, you could fit, I could fit in here. You could fit probably four of me. I'm pretty sure I can't even reach the top shelf. Over here is the main island where I do all of the food prep. There is a ton of storage built in. When I first moved into the house, we actually built additional storage. We have built in recycling bins and garbage, and we actually moved the sink from the center of this island over into the corner. This is as big as my bathtub. And over in this corner of the kitchen, we have a warming drawer. This came in handy for Thanksgiving. You make fresh rolls and you wanna keep something warm while the other food is being prepared. I also have a little pestle and mortar, classic, great for grinding up spices and herbs. Then over here at the stove, one of the features that I wanted in a dream kitchen was to have a pasta arm. If you're someone like me who cooks a lot of pasta and eats a lot of pasta, this is so handy because usually I would have to take my pot and fill it up at the sink and then but with this you just turn it on and fill up your pot. Woo! 
And down here, I have two ovens. This is where I do most of the baking for Nerdy Nummies, right here. I also have some additional ovens down the hallway by the pantry. Over here, we have our aloe plant. I love having an aloe plant in the kitchen. If you love to cook or bake, it is really nice to have one of these handy, because if you burn yourself on the stove top or something, you just break off a leaf and rub on your burn. It helps with healing. And over here is my bathtub. I, I actually probably could fit in here and take a little bath and like wash my hair. I've always wanted a large farmhouse sink because I'm cooking and baking all the time and with that come a lot of dishes. And then up here's just microwave. We've got T-Rex in the corner. He's just hanging out. He's making sure nobody takes too many paper towels. Dad. And he also keeps an eye on the lemons. This is from the same bowl set from the entryway, but this is the large one. These are lemons from my backyard, from my lemon tree. It produces a lot of lemons. It is lemon season, so I'm making lemon everything. And behind me is what I like to call the sunroom. It is a room that's right off the kitchen, and you may recognize it. That's where I film a lot of challenges and games with my friends. There are so many wonderful memories in this room. This is like my happy place. <laughs> Not only all the fun videos that I get to film with my friends in here, but I threw my parents a 40th wedding anniversary party, and this is where their wedding cake was, and it was just so special. So this is my happy rustic sunroom. Now let's go check out the living room, which is right off the kitchen. We're in the living room. It's only a few steps from the kitchen. It has two themes, flow and cozy. I wanted people to be able to move around easily because I entertain a lot, and all the furniture I picked out is super cozy. I have two really big oversized linen chairs because I love to cuddle with cookies by the fireplace. The house came with a really big oversized fireplace and I love that especially for the holidays and for the first time ever I have a round coffee table. I wasn't sure if I'd like it or not until I saw it in place. I've hosted so many board game nights on this table and it is awesome. Everyone can sit around the table. No one feels left out because everybody is equal distance away from the board. Also side note if you guys here snoring it's because cookie fell asleep right here and just like the dining room this carpet in the living room is so soft I also put a foam carpet mat underneath it so it's soft on top it's soft underneath I basically feel like I'm on like one of those like bouncy gymnastic like soft floors and lastly the color palette that I've been liking lately is gray white and blush so you'll see a bunch of those colors now let me show you the backyard it opens up through here and I bet cookie's gonna wake up for this she loves going outside these are the doors on the side of the living room that go to the backyard. What's really neat about them is that you can just open up one door like this and just go out. Oh, Cookie's already, look at her. Cookie, are you gonna help mommy? Come here. Oh, there she goes. Okay, bye Cookie. Or another option, the whole wall can be open. Like that. And then you just squish it together. Here is the backyard. I'll give you a quick walk around. Behind me, there's a pool, hot tub. There was a sport court over on that side, and I have a bunch of plants. I have hydrangeas. I have an avocado tree. I really need to get another avocado tree because I only have one, and they really like to be together. They don't do well alone. Kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of like me. Over here, I have a lime tree. This is a bear's lime, and then on this side is a lemon tree. This is a Meyer lemon tree. A Meyer lemon is sweeter than a normal tart lemon so they're great for baking especially when you're making lemonade because the lemon is already sweet you don't need to add additional or more sugar and a lot of you have noticed the swans floating around in the background of my videos and here they are these two little lovebirds I got these little guys for fun for my parents 40th wedding anniversary and they were just so cute that I kept them Look at them, they're adorable. And Cookie loves floating around on these when I'm swimming in the pool. And if she floats by you, she'll lick you on the face. There's also a fire pit. We like to hang out here. We can do some mores, drink hot cocoa, get really cozy. Then in the corner is a cabana with a fireplace and an outdoor TV. And there are speakers everywhere in my backyard. I didn't know this until I moved in, but I turned on the TV and but they're everywhere. They're in bushes and on the sides of trees and in the houses and they're everywhere. There's speakers everywhere. <gasps> let's go, girl. All right, let's go back inside. Let's go check out the office. 
Oh, cookie! And here's the home office. Now, when I originally moved in, this room was a total game room. There was a pool table, a poker table, a full built-in bar, but I don't really drink and I don't really gamble. So I turned it into something that I really, really wanted. I wanted a cozy home office, so that's what I made. There's four desks in here. They're all L-shaped. I love them because there's more surface area to work on, so I can get so many more things done. Each desk has one of these desk lamps, and I love them because they look very executive. They remind me of like a law office or if I was in the library at Hogwarts. Boop, doop, ah! And in this corner of the office, I have some file cabinets. Now before, I used to keep all my files in cardboard boxes. They were organized, but it just looked really, really messy. And now, I feel like an adult. When I opened this up and I built it, look what came with it. Congratulations, you are now an adult. Yeah! On this side of the room is where the built-in bar used to be. I had that removed and we have some more filing cabinets, a little doggy bed. I wanted a white dog crate so it would blend into the wainscoting around the house. I just made this art for fun because I didn't have anything to hang in the office. So let me know if you actually like any of these. We have a baker's gonna bake and our nerdy nummies poster that we made and then a little row logo. The last thing I want to show you in the office is right in front of the seating area and below the TV. I store a bunch of the products from the row baking line. And this is so cool. I checked it this morning. I don't know if it's still, but our swirl mold that looks like a little poo is the number one selling mold on Amazon. So we're pretty proud. This is just one of my all time favorite things from the product line because you can make brownies or cakes. You can even make DIY crafts in these. Okay, that does it for the office and all of downstairs. So let's head upstairs and go check it out. Upstairs is a little bit echoey because I don't have any rugs. And over here are some guest rooms. And this room is a room that was supposed to be an upstairs media room, but I turned it into a gym. I don't have the most equipment in there yet, but I'm working on it. And my room is right over this way. This is the door to the master suite. The door opens up to a hallway, and this way to the bathroom, this way to the bedroom. A cookie! Come on, let's go. On this side of the hallway is also the closets. There's two closets, a his and hers. I use the hers because it's a little bit bigger. It has more storage. Then over here is my new bedroom. I decorated the room with the same colors as the living room. I'm really loving gray, white, and pops of blush. This is a new addition that I have in my room. I've never had a bench at the end of a bed before. I really love it because Cookie does not have a dog bed in this room because she sleeps on the bed, and I love having a bench here because it makes it easier for her to get on the bed and off the bed. And I also love that there's more seating in here. When my friends come over, we used to all sit on the bed, make popcorn, watch movies, and hang out. There was just not a lot of space, and now there's a lot of seating on the bed, the bench, the couch, and even the floor. And you guys know I like soft rugs. I'm obsessed, so I found another really soft rug for the bedroom. It feels good on my feet. Some of you may recognize the big mirror that I have on this wall. It's from my last place. I used to have it in the living room. Now it sits in the bedroom. It's where I check my outfits every day, make sure like, you know, my shoes are on the right feet and my shirt's not backwards. Cause you know, that's mm, never happened to me before. <laughs> went to the airport, went through security, went on the plane, I get home, I was like, my pants are inside out. Then over here, the bedroom has a fireplace and a TV above it. I don't get a lot of time off, but whenever I do, I like to curl up on the bed with my little dog Cookie and binge watch a show with the fireplace on. It basically feels like cozy, cozy cabin cozy and I love it. That does it for the bedroom. Let's go down to the other end of the hallway to the bathroom. Welcome to my bathroom. I actually don't think I've filmed anything in here before. Just a few like bath bomb snaps of my tub. This bathroom has two sinks. One's on this side, one is on the other side. And behind me is a vanity where I sit and do my makeup. I have a bunch of makeup and these two drawers right here. Directly behind the vanity in the center of the room is a bathtub. I fell in love with this room as soon as I saw the hardware on the tub. This hardware reminded me of my time in France. I stayed in a very small cottage and it had this hardware. It also makes 
when you try to help your sister bleach her hair and dye it rainbow, but then you leave it in too long and some of her hair falls out and you have to emergency rinse it out, this also can come in handy, but I don't know who would ever do that. That never would happen. There's also a fireplace on this wall in front of the tub. Very cozy. You can take a bath by the fire. Oh, it couldn't be more romantic than if you added a beautiful chandelier, which is what I did. There was a light fixture here when I moved in, but I wanted one that felt more romantic and more French, so I installed this one. Behind me over here is a toilet. Pretty exciting stuff, I know. Then here is the biggest shower I've ever seen in my entire life. I could probably do a handstand in there or something. I don't know. It has a little bench. That could be my bed. Like, look at apes. This is my new bed. This is my new, this is my pillow. Oh. <laughs> Cookie, we're not really taking a nap, I promise. This is so funny, but Cookie actually loves going in here. Anytime I'm taking a shower or the shower's on, she'll wait by the glass so that if you open the door, she'll come in and she'll just start drinking water. So she thinks that this is her personal drinking bowl. So that's about it. Cookie is getting a little antsy. She's been wanting to go on a walk all day. Huh, Cookie? Do you wanna go on a walk? Do you wanna go on a walk? Come on, girl, let's go. All right, that does it for the home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, a big thank you to Amazon. And if you want to see a video showing the process of how everything came together, I'll put a link down below. Bye, you guys. If you'd like to watch any other fun videos, I'll put links up there <laughs> or up there. She's also one of my secrets to getting buffer and working out is I just hold her like this and then I just do squats like this. And remember, when you squat, knees gotta go out a little bit. Let him out. Let's do it. Oh, she's, oh, she's ready. <laughs>